Hey guys, this is Frankie Reynolds here, coming to you with another segment of Shore Sports. I am joined today by Coach Graham Miller, women's soccer team head coach, and another phenomenal season for the women's soccer team at Stevenson. Ten wins yet again, a huge accomplishment for this women's squad. And then of course going to the Commonwealth Championship and knocking off seven-time champion Messiah. Big win, Coach. Uh, why don't we talk about the success this year? Um, let's start out with the regular season. Tell me about uh, some of the accomplishments that these girls had and um, what it meant to you to get back into the tournament as a number one seed and win. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I think uh, I think for the people that followed us closely over the course of the season, uh, you know, we started out two, five, and three in non-conference. So uh, we had only won uh, two games at the start of the season, and then we went through the whole month of September without another win. Uh, which is kind of crazy because, you know, here we are, we just won the conference title. So, uh, you know, for us to bounce back after a pretty tough, uh, you know, 2-5-3 and three non-conference schedule, uh, that, that, that puts into perspective this 8, you know, 7-0-1, 8-0-1, you know, 8-0-2 record with conference play and the playoffs because, you know, we were kind of counted out after that non-conference. So we, you know, didn't win a game in September. And for the fact that the girls came through in October and haven't lost, you know, didn't lose a game and, and the run up to the conference playoffs, I think is just phenomenal. And, and, and we were very deserving of that number one seed. And, and obviously tying with the number one team in the country twice uh, and, and, you know, beating them in, in penalty kicks was just an, an amazing achievement. It's something that will go down in, you know, Stevenson athletic history. Oh, of course. And, you know, you talk about the perseverance of these girls. That might be the word to describe this season, the way that these girls did persevere through adversity, uh, ended up getting huge victories down the stretch that you needed in order to make it to the postseason and inevitably knock off the number one team in the country, get a conference, uh, get a national championship bid uh, for the NCAA tournament. Um, tell me about the uh, about beating Messiah, you know, tying them twice, beating them in the uh, in the championship, I mean, obviously a tough draw for the NCAA tournament, but you've you've knocked off the number one team in the country. Anything's possible with these girls, and why don't we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, well, we don't have anything to fear now. You know, every team we played this year was was strong. You know, and for the most part, that's why we went to five and three because we had you know teams like Johns Hopkins, uh, Mr. Cardia, who were ranked, and then with our conference, you know, we know going into it every year we're playing the best team in the country, and you know, for us, the last two years to get to the conference final and lose to Messiah at their place. And, and for us now this year to not only tie with them once, but tie with them twice, uh, that, that shows a lot for the girls. And, and we have a young team and, and that's just huge. I mean, it's huge that we took Messiah both times. We scored against them, which was our first time we did that um, in, you know, in, in three years. So for the fact that we scored twice on them, that we beat them on penalty kicks, we held, held our nerve uh, you know, under that pressure, I think it's amazing for the program. And, and, and we don't have anybody to fear in the NCAA tournament. And you know, it's, a, it's a tough draw against Christopher Newport but um, we're excited for that. The girls have done so much this year. It's been such a young squad. You've lost a lot of players over the past couple of years due to graduation or, you know, a uh, hefty load of schoolwork. So a young squad is typically not expected to become conference champions. What about this team has allowed you guys to gel in such a seamless fashion and do something like this big? Well, you know, this is the program, you know, I've been here now eight years as the head coach. So, so we plan on building every year. So when we do lose good players to graduation, we have players that are ready to step up. So yes, we lost really strong players last year to graduation. Um, but you know, this year we were able to have Jamie Matlock come back because she had tore her ACL. Um, we had our two captains, two junior captains from last year who stepped up, Ali Jack and Emily Lesquadro. And then we have great seniors. So every year now that we have the program established and we have a winning, you know, immense mentality the, the the senior players from the year before are able to give guidance to the younger players and then when all that team chemistry comes together like it did this year for us and the build up to conference play uh, you know they just take it from there so you know I'm, I'm just kind of like the guide that leads them through this but the, the girls are really the ones that you know take all the credit because you know I'm just so proud of them because they do keep going they did show perseverance and they really our team chemistry is, is unbelievable which has taken us to, to be able to tie with Messiah twice and be the conference champions. Yeah, I'm sure that they're proud of their coach as well with all the accomplishments and accolades that you have had here at Stevenson and in previous uh, previous experiences it definitely helps to have a coach uh, with that with that kind of mentality on the squad let's uh, one more time uh, get into the NCAA tournament uh, really quickly you said you have a tough draw coming up but after playing the number one team in the country it is going to be 
possible to get through this uh, tough stretch early on and, and maybe make a run at the championship here. What are some things that you're focusing on heading into that matchup? Yeah, well, we just want to keep it going. You know, everything's been going well for us, you know, over the last month. So our plan is, yes, we got a tough draw, but yes, we've just played Messiah. So, uh, you know, there's nothing to fear for these girls. And as long as they keep saying that to themselves, they keep having fun and they keep this, you know, great positive energy that they have right now, we will continue to be confident whoever we play. And, and yes, we're going to make a run at this national tournament. And no matter what the draw was today, you know, I'm feeling good about it. And I know the girls are too. They're really excited. Good luck to you, Coach. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for joining me on here. This Thank has been you. Frankie Reynolds for Short Sports. We'll see you guys next time.